Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is time for the monthly show us your sheet load slash happy mail video. I hope you'll stick around and see what came this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you what I received in my PO box this month. Some of these will be cards using the sheet load of cards layouts and others will be just because cards. I love to receive both. If you're ever interested in sending me a card, my P.O. box is always in the description box. And if you want to share a sheet load card with us, I do have a video that gives you some details on that and I will link that in the description box as well. There are three ways to show us your sheet load each month. You of course have sending me a card like you'll be seeing today and you can also share here on YouTube and on Instagram. In that video I just mentioned, it tells you what to do, but I will link my playlist below with all the show us your sheet loads from February. And I will also link up the Instagram search so you can see what others have shared there. It's always great to see how everybody has used the sheet load as a jumping off point and made the cards their own. Another reminder I want to give you before we get started is don't forget about my share the love giveaway I have going on. I will be giving away six, possibly seven, $25 gift cards, and I do have all of the details linked in the video below. Now this is open through March 14th of 2021, so you do still have time to enter if you're watching the video before then. Let's see what came this month. I want to pause here for just a second and encourage you to watch all the way to the end of this video. Not only did I receive so many beautiful cards and little gifts, but the very last package I opened, unbeknownst to me, almost made me cry. And if you've been following me for very long or paying attention in my recent chats with Mary Gunn, I think you're going to be almost as excited as I am. Audrey E. from Texas sent in this first card and she used the November 2020 sheet load of cards to create this adorable Valentine. I especially like those papers and the bling in the corners. Thanks Audrey! Kimberly B. from New Hampshire has used the February 2021 sheet load of cards to create this wonderful birthday card. Inside, she let me know that she uses sheet load to make cards for the employees at her family business. I just love that. What a personal touch. Thank you, Kimberly. This next card is the very first sheet load of cards that Betty H. from Oregon has made. How awesome, Betty. I'm so glad that you gave sheet load a try. I just love your Valentine and thank you for the nice note. Amy R. of Illinois sent in this next card and she used the February 2021 sheet load of cards as inspiration. Now you might notice that it looks a little bit different than my sketch, but she let me know that she forgot to look at the sketch before she put the pieces together. Amy, I actually think this looks great. Thank you so much for taking the time to send in a card and for your note. Lanya M. of Iowa sent in this next card, which also features the February 2021 sheet load. I am loving those papers, and I love the texture that she added to the fishtail banner. You might have also recognized that sentiment. It is part of the free printable that I gave out in January. Thanks so much, Lanya, for the card and your note. Stephanie R. of Texas used February 2021 for this fabulous card. I am loving those pattern papers, and I'm not sure if you can tell on screen, but the fishtail and the scallop circle behind the sentiment are a copper metallic. So neat. Thank you, Stephanie. Hilda V of California sent in this lovely card. I am loving that ribbon, 
the texture on the fishtail and those papers. Hilda Nell wrote inside, she wrote me a nice little message, and she let me know that this was her first card she sent out for extra entries in my Share the Love giveaway. If you have already seen that video, you'll know that I'm giving five extra entries into the giveaway if you create a sheet load and share it with others. I just thought this was a nice way to send cards to those in our life who might need a little pick-me-up or something besides a bill in the mail. Thank you so much, Hilda Nell. Laurel D. of California used the latest sheet load of cards as well for her adorable card. I love how she has used the sentiments that I provided in January, but on a colored cardstock. And also on the inside, she told me about a couple tips that she has gotten from other crafty YouTubers, and I might have to use them as well. Thanks so much, Laurel. Jessica N. of Florida sent in two envelopes this month. The first one is the sheet load of cards card in the middle there. I am loving those papers. And then in the second one was the card on the right, which is personalized. And that's why I have that washi tape on there. And then on the left in that same card, she sent me this cute stand up calendar for my desk. Here in the next photo, you'll see how it stands up kind of as a tent. I just love this. Thank you so much. I'm definitely going to put this on my computer desk. Debbie V of Florida sent in this next beautiful card using the February 2021 sheet load. I love those papers and how she has used a pattern paper instead of a cardstock for her fishtail piece. Thanks so much, Debbie. Leisha M. of Virginia is showing us her February 2021 sheet load of cards as well. I am loving these colors and patterns. Thank you so much, Leisha, for the card and the nice note. Teresa R. from Florida sent me this beautiful Valentine's Day card in February. I am just loving these patterns and appreciate being thought of. Now, Teresa was formerly of Scrapping for Less. Now her channel is fresh and renewed with Teresa. She is a part of my sheet load of cards team. And earlier this week, we both had an exciting announcement about a new design team that we're on together. If you haven't already seen that, I hope you'll check it out. I will have that video linked in the description box below. Sarah N. of California blessed me with a couple envelopes in my P.O. box this month. The first one contained this adorable card and nice note, and she used the August 2020 sheet load of cards for this layout. And Sarah, it is not cheating at all by sending me one of the cards for your extra entries in the Share the Love giveaway. I love that you thought of me for one of those. In the second package I received from Sarah, it was chock full of goodness. Not only did she share six various sheet load of cards cards with me, but look at this next picture. When I say it was chock full, I am not joking. It was stuffed to the brim with crafty and yummy goodness. She has shared with me some doubles that she has and some extras. I am loving it all, Sarah. Thank you so much. And if you'll notice in the top left, she sent me some extra ATG rolls. You know that I can use those because I go through adhesive like it's air. And then in the middle, I kind of might have already eaten these before I took the picture, but she sent me lots of high chew candies, which until December of this past year, I didn't even know what they were, but I'm in love with them. And then these chocolate cracker mushrooms, those were delicious. I have to know where you buy those. Thank you so much, Sarah. This is all so greatly appreciated. Lori Ann of Ohio sent me in this next card just because. She said she was going to share a little bit of her craftiness with me since I share mine with her. I absolutely love the card and all the little details. I know that you can't really see it on screen, but the image, the sentiment is heat embossed with kind of a copper embossing powder. I definitely have to get me some of that. And then on those little hearts that are pouring out of the cup, they either have glossy accents or a nice little sparkle. Thank you so much, Lorianne. Yvonne K. of Wisconsin used February 2021 to create this 
sparkly Christmas card. Once again, you can't see it on screen, but there is so much sparkle and shine on this. It is just gorgeous. Thanks so much, Yvonne. Wanda R. of Virginia is challenging herself to 40 cards in 40 days, and I was lucky enough to receive one of those. I am absolutely loving these papers. Thank you so much, Wanda, for taking the time to share a card with me. Diane A. of California used January 2021 to create and make this Valentine's Day card for me. I am loving the monochromatic look of it and really appreciate you thinking of me. Cherie P. from Missouri has created this lovely Valentine using February 2021. I am in love with those papers and your little embellishment cluster there. Cherie wrote inside that she left the card blank this time so I could pass it on. I just wanted to take the time to let you know that if you do send in cards that don't have personal writing on the inside, I am collecting those to give to a local retirement center, but I also always appreciate notes, so either way you want to do it is up to you. Thank you so much, Cherie, for sending in a card this month. Felicia K. of North Carolina sent in these three adorable cards using February 2021. I just love that by whichever pattern papers you choose can totally change the look and the theme of the cards. Thank you so much, Felicia, for sending in cards this month. Karen A. of Canada sent me in this beautiful slimline card. When I saw her share this on Instagram, I thought it was gorgeous, but it's nothing compared to what it looks like in person. Inside, she wrote me a nice little note about inviting her to the sheet load of cards team, and I'm so glad to have her as a part of my team. Now, if you don't already subscribe to Karen, make sure you do that. I will have her YouTube channel linked in the description box below. Nancy T. of Kansas sent in two cards this month, and they both used the January 2021 sheet load of cards, but as you can see, she changed the orientation. I just love seeing these side by side and how you can switch up the layout to fit your needs. Thank you so much, Nancy, for taking the time to send these in and for your note. Karen C. of Virginia sent in three cards this month. The one in the middle uses January 2021, and the two on the outside use February 2021. I am loving the monochromatic look of the center one, and then the softer, more pastel -y feel of those outer two. Karen also took the time in the middle card to write me a very nice, very long, very thoughtful note. Karen, I truly appreciate your words, and anytime I ever get a little message like that, it definitely warms my heart and almost brings a tear to my eye. And speaking of tear to my eye, Biddy Penny sent me in two envelopes this month, and I loved the first card and note she sent me. And when I opened up the second package, I again loved the card she sent me, and I thought that she had been super kind to send me some pattern paper. But with something that she wrote in the note, I thought it must be something different. And I just want to stop here and say that if you have been watching me for very long, or if you've seen the pictures of my craft room, or heard me talk to Mary Gunn on either a recent craft roulette or cut the crap and create, you know that I am absolutely obsessed with Hamilton the musical. And in Biddy Penny's card at the top, she wrote that she wanted to say thank you in a very special way that she knew would surely delight me. And once I read that, I knew that there must be something else in that envelope. And when I opened it, and saw what was in between the papers, I literally like couldn't move on with my picture taking or my videos. I got a tear in my eye. I had to run upstairs and show my family. Guys, she gave me Hamilton themed stamps. And even right now as I'm voicing this over, I'm just overwhelmed. I tried last week to contact this company about these stamp sets 
and I found out that they're out of stock and I was guessing they were probably not going to be made again and I was pretty bummed. And I did reach out to Biddy Penny and just tell her, you know, separate, like a separate big thank you that I wanted to let her know how much it means. And after that, it meant all the more. I kind of thought, you know what, maybe she saw these for sale and thought of me and sent them. But guys, these were her personal stamps that she bought for herself and she said she would never part with them until she met me and she knew that I had to have them. And... I hear so many nice things from tons of you all the time. You know that I appreciate each and every one of you. And it's just amazing the kind of connection you can have, especially now in a time where connections are kind of harder. Um, I wanted to share a couple things with you that Biddy Penny wrote in her card because they are the truth. In her card to me, um, she mentioned at the bottom, a couple weeks ago we did a collaboration together. So you might recognize her name for that. Now I wanna stop here and say, if you're not already subscribed to her, please go over and do that. Show her just as much love as you show me. Her channel is linked in the description box below. But she wrote in this card that your fans are so kind, dedicated, and well, just awesome. And you know what? You guys are, and Biddy Penny is definitely a part of that. Thank you so, 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 so much. I cannot wait to ink these up. Wow. Can I just say that I am overwhelmed by the love that all of you have shown me today. I am not kidding when I told you I almost cried when I opened up these stamps. I had to stop what I was doing, go upstairs and show my family. Um, but I so appreciate each of the cards you sent me. I love reading your notes. It's um, so heartwarming. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to everyone. I'm hoping that I'm going to be back soon using my new stamps. Thank you once again, Biddy Penny. And until my next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.